Before the break, we had the story of Jay Hodge, and it just proved how people can get out of their comfort zones and do some pretty incredible things. Butch Stearns rejoins us now with a look at how some caring people are taking kids with autism into the gym and transforming their lives. While boxing is often viewed as being violent and savage, training for the sport has its own inherent rewards. The shape you get in, the discipline you learn, and just how good you feel about yourself when you commit to train like a boxer. Matt Harkins is a young man who's learned many life's lessons from boxing. And now, through his passion for the sport and the special place where he first learned to love boxing, Matt is paying it forward big time and helping to change the lives of some very special kids. Everyone, attention. Matt's the type of kid that nothing bothers him. Like, hey, no matter what, and he do it with a smile on his face. Are you going to work hard and show it? Are you ready? Count to 10. He's such a stellar kid. He's just a stand-up person, he's honest. Mike Foley and Tim Stanton are co-owners of Core Box Training Center in Randolph, Mass. And here, they live and train by a simple philosophy. At the Core Box Training Center, we want everyone to know boxing's for everyone. We believe boxing is for everyone, mainly because it inspires confidence in people. 10 years ago, it inspired confidence in a young Matt Harkins. He was 15 when he came in here, and all of a sudden, life became very simple. If I'm working hard, I'm getting better. If I'm being lazy, I'm not getting better. It's, it's so simple. Matt put himself into the ring and built up a determination and a resolve that he took with him to Bridgewater State University and on to a degree in education, which led him to the Boston Higashi School. Matt Harkins was a go-getter from the beginning, and right away he hit the ground running. He's not afraid to learn, take his knocks, and get back up. The Higashi School is an amazing place. They specialize in educating students with autism through a core philosophy of their own. We focus on heart-to-heart -heart education, so uh, you're not just teaching you know, six hours out of the day. You're really developing really strong bonds with your students, with their families. Keep going, Maddie. Harder, you gotta push harder. Harder, harder, go. One thing that keeps me at Higashi is love. You're allowed to love the kids. It's a heart-to-heart -heart approach. Tim Stanton understands that approach and also understands autism. His oldest daughter, Haley, has Asperger's. She's one of the best kids in the, in the world. I mean, she's the sweetest kid in the world, and she's very, very, very analytical and very, like, she loves to create. For all their special gifts, life can be challenging for kids with autism. There's many different challenges. I mean, obviously communication and socially, you know, it's really difficult for some of our students to say even the basic things, how they feel, what they need. One of the things they do need is exercise. So a light bulb went off from Matt Harkins. Take the kids to Core Box, which initially raised some concerns. So they were like, you're not gonna have them box. And I was like, definitely not. <laughs> I loved the idea. And so did the guys at Core Box. I was psyched. And I was like, huh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It challenges them, and then they feel that sense of accomplishment once they've really worked. And you work side by side, so there's you know a sense of accomplishment that you get through it together. Having to be able to take a break from the school setting and then come down to a gym and get physical activity, it's not only good for their bodies, but I think it's great for their minds as well. When you're in here, you feel Respect it. You know, I'm, I'm with the boxers. I'm with the big league, and, and that's cool. That's what we want our kids to feel. And how does Matt Harkins feel, bringing it all full circle and paying it forward at the place where it all started for him? I couldn't be more proud, honestly. Like, it's definitely the best thing I've done and been able to do. You know, we inspired one person to inspire an entire school. Like, that's just amazing. Yes, it is. Great, great job. That is our time for tonight. We will be back with episode 16 of Boston 25 Sports In-Depth next month. So if you have a story idea, please email it to us, sports at boston25.com. Doesn't matter what sport, if it's a good story, I promise, like tonight, we will get to it. For Butch Stearns and our producer, Chad Amaral, I'm Tom Lydon. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.